dear student in this video we will learn theorem of 45 degree 45 degree and 90 degree triangle if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it today itself let's start theorem of 45 degree 45 degree 90 degree triangle let's see the statement of this theorem if measures of angles of a triangle are 45 degree 45 degree 90 degree then the length of each side containing the right angle is 1 upon root 2 of the hypotenuse so first we will make a right angle triangle okay you can see here we have a triangle abc in which angle b is 90 degree therefore triangle abc is a right angle triangle the remaining two angles of this triangle that is angle a and angle c will be of 45 degree okay you can see in this figure angle a and angle c have the same measure that is 45 degree so what is given in triangle abc angle b is 90 degree angle a and angle c are equal to 45 degree to prove what we have to prove over here the side containing right angle is 1 upon root 2 times of the hypotenuse okay you can see the figure here angle abc is a right angle and here ab and bc okay ab and bc are the side which contains a right angle okay you can see that seg ab and seg bc contains right angle so we have to show that side ab and side bc equals to 1 upon root 2 of the hypotenuse what is the hypotenuse in this figure ac so we have to show that here ab equals to bc equals to 1 upon root 2 of the hypotenuse ac let's see the proof you can see that in this figure angle a is 45 degree and angle c is also 45 degree therefore angle a equals to angle c okay so we will write here angle a equals to angle c and both are equals to 45 degree and we know that if any two angles of a triangle are equal if any two angles of a triangle are equal then the side opposite to them will also equal so what is side opposite to angle a bc right bc is the side opposite to angle a so we will write here bc equals to and what is the side opposite to angle c okay which side is opposite to angle c ab right ab is side opposite to angle c so we will write here bc equals to ab okay according to converse of isosceles triangle theorem and we will consider this as equation number 1 okay now we will apply here theorem of pythagoras and what is the theorem of pythagoras square of one side plus square of second side is equals to square of hypotenuse that means ab square plus bc square equals to ac square now we will simplify this further we will get ab square plus at the place of bc square at the place of bc square we can write ab why because ab and bc are equal okay so i am replacing bc by ab so what we will get here ab square plus ab square equals to ac square and this change we did by using equation number 1 so from 1 now here we will add ab square with ab square okay if we will add ab square with ab square what we will get 2ab square right if i add ab square with ab square 
we will get 2ab square, right? Equals to ac square. Now we will set 2 to that side of equal to, okay? So what we will get, if we will set 2 to that side of equal to, we will get here ab square equals to 1 upon 2, okay? This 2, when we will take that side, you will get reciprocal of 2, that is 1 upon 2, ac square. Okay, now we will take square root. Okay, we will take square root on both the sides. So what we will get when we will take the square root on both the side? Okay, square root of AB square. Okay, we will take square root of AB square, we will get here AB equals to, now we will take square root of 1 upon 2 and square root of 1 upon 2 is 1 upon root 2 and square root of AC square is AC. So what we will get here? AB equals to 1 upon root 2 times of AC and that would be equation number 2. Now look at the equation number 1. Okay, in equation number 1, BC and AB are equal, right? If AB is 1 upon root 2 times of AC, then BC will also 1 upon root 2 times of AC. Since AB and BC are equal. So what we will get here? AB equals to BC equals to 1 upon root 2 times of AC. So here I have proved it. The side containing right angle is 1 upon root 2 times of the hypotenuse.